Recently, I made a video saying this outboard will change boating forever. And that video was about the Newport NT300 electric outboard. A lot of people had a lot of issues with that video. Um, partly because of the fact that they believed that, first of all, maybe an electric outboard isn't going to change boating forever. And the other reason is because some of them believed that the NT300 was not as good as the e-propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus. Many of you pointed out in comments about the fact that Tiny Boat Nation had reviewed the Newport NT300 and compared it to the Mercury Avator and the e-propulsion Spirit Plus 1.0 and found it to be lacking. I don't have the resources and the budget that Tiny Boat Nation has. I can't just go and buy four electric outboards to be able to compare them for you. If I could, I would. And Newport had given me that NT300 for me to try out. So I didn't have anything to compare the Newport NT300 with. Tiny Boat Nation happened to watch my video as well. And uh, I've talked to them in the past. They're all great guys, really great guys. And um, they basically said, oh, would you like an e-propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus to be able to compare to the Newport NT300? And I said, absolutely, I would. So that's what we're using today. Yes, this is an e-propulsion Spirit Plus 1.0, three horsepower equivalent electric outboard motor on my boat from Tiny Boat Nation. This one is a lot better. Let's talk a little bit about numbers and stuff, shall we? This e-propulsion Spirit Plus 1.0, three horsepower equivalent electric outboard with the proprietary battery costs $2,599 from Tiny Boat Nation. Stay tuned about that because I might be able to get just slightly better price than that. The Newport configuration like I got with the absolute biggest battery, 40 amp hour big battery, and uh, an extension cable because otherwise the battery would have to be literally right here next to the motor it was $2,394. So the e-propulsion is $205 more. I'll stand by my statement that the Newport NT300 is the small electric outboard that I think is going to change boating forever because it is newer and cheaper. And anytime whenever we get to the point where things that are newer that are equivalent are cheaper, that's a good sign. Plus the fact that it always uses a separate battery. For the e-propulsion, the battery is 8.7 kilograms, which is 19 pounds. The Newport battery is 28.9 pounds, which is 13.1 kilograms. So the Newport battery is heavier, actually 10 pounds heavier. As far as the motor goes, the e-propulsion motor is 23.4 pounds and the Newport motor is 23.8 pounds. So they're pretty much the same weight. I mean, 0.4 pounds difference. That's 10.6 kilograms for the e-propulsion and 10.7 kilograms for the Newport. So what are some of the things I like about this e-propulsion motor? The first thing I really, really like is the display. This display provides me much more accurate information than the Newport display. I complained about the Newport display in my video and I found it lacking. The best thing I found with the Newport is that there is an app on my phone that I can look to see the percentage of battery that's left. And I have used that app. But what that requires me to do is operate the motor and then periodically pull my phone out, bring the app up to see how much juice I have left in the battery. So I have to use something separate to be able to see how much battery life there is when this shows me everything and more right here on the display. The other thing I like about this is it is quieter. I honestly thought to myself, oh, the new port is so quiet. How much quieter could this be? This is a lot quieter. I don't know if my microphone's gonna pick it up or not. Here, I'm gonna go full speed right now. It might be about half the volume of the Newport. One of the other things that I really like about the Sea Propulsion is the feel. It actually has better feel than the Newport. One of my 
complaints with the Newport was that the steering was very, very loose. If you notice, I'm running this at full speed right now, and I'm not holding onto the throttle at all. The steering in this one is tighter, and part of it, I think, is because the battery sits on top of the outboard. So because this battery sits on top of it, it kind of makes it a more solid feeling unit. And the steering feel is great. It's not loose feeling at all like the Newport was. But as soon as I put this on and went to operate it, I said, oh wow, this feels a whole lot better. It has actually less parts. And the reason it has less parts is because the other one, I have to have connections and bring that cable to connect my battery to my motor. The cable is on the motor, which plugs straight into the battery. So when I'm bringing this out, I literally have my kill switch cord, like I have with the Newport. I have the motor and I have the battery. With the Newport, I had to remember to bring my cable too. So I had one more component. Yes, is that nitpicking? Absolutely nitpicking. But every little bit helps, and I liked the fact that it had one less part. One of the things that I liked about the Newport was that it used third-party batteries. You didn't have to use a proprietary battery. You don't have to use a proprietary battery with e-propulsion either. Now, you do have to buy a separate cable adapter that plugs into this cord here, and that plugs into your battery. So you do have to buy a separate cable, and I don't know how well the display works whenever you're using a third-party battery, because I don't know if the cable talks to it as well as it does the proprietary battery. However, I'm gonna be getting that set up as well so that I can try that out and see what that's like. So the fact that it does work with another battery makes it very even actually, because it doesn't require a proprietary battery, but it does require you to buy an extra cable if you go to use a third party battery. I do agree with Tiny Boat Nation's assessment that this is the best one because now that I have operated both of them, this is a lot nicer of a motor. So does all of this mean that now I'm an e-propulsion fanboy? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I mean, I'm not just going to like right away just slap on an e-propulsion hat just because they sent me one and go, yeah, I'm a fanboy now. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, here's the discount code, Tiny Boat Nation, that if you use the discount code that I provide here, that you'll get 5% off your order. Yeah, that's right. I um, partnered up with Tiny Boat Nation now, and that's a real discount code. If you go to Tiny Boat Nation, you purchase something, you get 5% off if you use the discount code Wayne. Yeah, 